Let us discuss how to design a full wave bridge rectifier in a multi sim. So, you can do this easily, uh, you can understand the bridge rectifier from this circuit. I hope you have understood that how does this work actually. So, this is a bridge rectifier and the load resistance is connected across the diodes like this as you can see here and uh, <coughs> if you see individual operations in positive and negative cycle. So, in positive cycle the dark sided pink colored diodes uh, that are the forward bias conditions and that, that's how the current will flow from A and it will go through D1 to D then through RL it will go to D3 and from there it will reach the source from the negative point. So, it is a positive half cycle and in negative half cycle what will happen it will start from the negative side that is from D4 and some B to D, B point to D point it will travel from there it will go through the RL register and through the D2 diode it will go to the negative minus point of the input. So, that is how in the load register what happens uniform direction is there in both the cycles and that way it behaves as a full wave rectifier. Now, let us see how to design that in uh, multi sim. So, basically first we need a AC power source let me take the AC power source here. Uh, this is my AC power source after that uh, you can take a transformer or you may not take a transformer, but the practical circuit requires a transformer. So, let me take a transformer you go to basic and in the basic you will find this transformer here and you take one primary one secondary transformer. I will just place it here. Next I know that I need four diodes here. So, I will take diode, I will take the generic diode, but as well use if you want then uh, you can take IN 4004 or 4007 there. So, here two diodes and uh, one diode is there, I will just copy paste the diode to for the other diodes. Here is my second diode, then I will again copy it and I will paste it for the third diode here <coughs> and there will be the fourth diode here. Okay. And how the diodes are connected? Diodes are connected back to back. So, here I will connect one diode and then here it will be connected here, this point will be connected to D3 and D3 is connected to D4, D1 fine. Now, where the input is connected? So, input will be connected at the center point of D1 and D2. So, if you are getting confused let me show you the circuit once. So, this is a circuit you can see the input is connected between D1 and D2 and another is between D3 and D4 and the load is connected across them between D1 and D3. So, that accordingly I am doing. So, here I will take this connection and it will be connected between D3 and D4. So, that is my basic bridge is connected now. So, next what I need I need the load here. So, I will take the load <coughs> for the load I need the register. So, I will go to register and I will take a standard 1k register. So, the register I will keep it outside instead of keeping it the inside I will keep it outside so that the circuit will look uh, simpler. I will rotate it so that uh, it will be easy to visualize the circuit. Now, one end of the load resistance will be connected between D2 and D4 here as you can see in the circuit it is there. One is between D2 and D4 the load register another one will be between D1 and D3. So, I will just take the connection here and connect it here. Next what I need? The input I will connect to the transformer. So, like this I will connect one end here, another end here. As I have always said that if you are simulating something and you need to connect the oscilloscope, always you have to connect a ground there. So, it is must in multi sim. Without a ground, it will you will find errors there. So, here the ground is connected to the source. Uh, remember, generally the ground is connected to the negative uh, side of the uh, source. Now, what I need? I need an oscilloscope there. So, I will take a two channel oscilloscope only. So, first the oscilloscope I will connect to the output that is across the load resistance I will connect so that I can get the output voltage there. So, here I am connecting in the output. So, next I need to connect one to the input so that I can see that what is the input voltage I am getting and how it is rectifying. So, for that I will connect directly here from the output of the transformer I am just connecting it in this point. So, this will uh, let me <coughs> get the input signal. Now, my circuit circuit is completed. So, let us uh, simulate the circuit now we will see what what well voltage we are getting. Now, after simulating if you want to see just double click on the oscilloscope you will get it. So, let us do one thing I will just change the color here of the output so that uh, it will be easy in uh, displaying in the oscilloscope. So, here I will take let us say blue I will take here. 
so I just check the segment color I take blue now if I run this so now you can see two values are getting let me uh, make it single then uh, okay so single should work uh, why it is not working okay fine so let it be auto I'll just make it maximize so that uh, it will be easy to view now and uh, let me reduce the voltage for division here uh, so I'll make it let's say this and the both I am making same okay both will be 10 voltage for division I am taking fine so here the single actually should work uh, it's not working so what happens that uh, the it doesn't fluctuate it will it shows only one value so here it is uh, not coming so that's fine <clears throat> now you can see the blue line is always above the white line here the white uh, horizontal line you see so that line is actually the zero line and the blue line is always above the zero line that means it is always in the positive side and the red you see that is the input for me which is actually pulsating uh, sorry alternating alternating means it is going positive and negative and for every neg negative part you can see there is a uh, now you can see for every negative part so there is a positive part is there okay so that's how it works i'll try to put it in single uh, but that's not working okay that's fine uh, let me just try it again so sometimes in simulation it doesn't happen if you close the simulation as a software and open again it will be done but that's not a problem we just need to see that it is rectified and here you see that is a rect it is rectified and we are getting a direct current you can see the blue line is little bit on the lower compared to the red that's because the voltage drop across the <coughs> diodes and the registers as well so that's why the voltage drop is there uh, this is how you can design a bridge rectifier in multisim in some next videos we will see how to design the clipper clumper circuits also uh, thank you